on here. Rich looks like his pajamas, like I, like he bought them. Like they look brand new. They look. You look like the dad and Brady Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> like the nice pajamas. I like that match. those pajamas. Yeah, yeah. I really nice. don't. They're formal. I, I don't know where they came from. I imagine it was a Christmas gift from years back. Uh huh. I've never worn them, but I will argue that these are the most comfortable clothes I've ever worn. Ah, they're I like sitcom like pajamas. <laughs> yeah. the pajamas that dad just yes. wear. They're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you are doing pajama day, this is yeah. the quintessential perfect. pajama. You don't yeah. even need to paint a sure. picture. We know. Rich is wearing pajamas. Whatever you think pajamas look like on the dad on the sitcom, that's uh-huh. what he has. And notice, the sleeves are still too long. I still got to uh, roll them up. Oh, you nailed it. You I, nailed it. My pajamas that I have, pajamas, pajamas. Your track suit? Well, no, no. My normal pajamas that I have are up in Pine Top in our cabin where you wear pajamas because it's cold. Right. So I was trying to find, and the other pajamas I have at my house are the ones that I wear at Christmas time when we wear pajamas at Christmas time. Mm-hmm. So I didn't want to wear those. So I, I thought this is this what I'm wearing right now is my little dicky. The uh, you know the little I woke up at Chris Brown's body p- oh, video. This is the, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I thought this like is like a onesie. Yeah, no? okay. that's as close as I have to pajamas. So I'm not repeating wardrobe from our Christmas shoot. Well, what do you what do you wear? Do you wear like shorts? When I go to sleep, t-shirt. Yeah, underwear. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? We're coming yeah, here. Yeah, some more pajamas are not safe for wearing. Yeah, good. Good game. Yeah. Yeah. You wear that onesie. Yeah. And I know that Kyle's what you're wearing. Like, I've seen him in all your videos. My robe. <laughs> your robe. My robe and sweat. Yeah. <laughs> this is my at-home uniform. This is literally, if you catch me on an off day at home, this is what That's I will it. be wearing. Yeah. And what about you, Susie? What's that? Um, my pajamas. I have U of A pajamas on, and then I always wear like a, just a regular T-shirt mm. with and my, and I have my Bad Bunny Crocs. Those All right, are now, sweet. Gr- now, Grant, on the other hand, I think he's wearing a Halloween costume, <laughs> which is a baboon. <laughs> <laughs> Grant, you gotta tell. Wait, before yeah. we, uh, let's get into. You look like you're ready to raid the Capitol around, building. Yeah, I'm ready to go. It's microphone, microphone, Rich, radio show. <laughs> so, yeah, you're What's wearing that? the big baboon outfit. I, I, I hope you sleep in that. <laughs> um, so there's a radio show down the hall and just, you know, nice guy, mellow music. But I guess the other day, yesterday, Grant goes, said that he went fishing with the guy. Yeah. Right? Did you hear that story, Kyle? Yeah. I thought it was very random. Very ra- Did you hear any of the fishing stories? Yeah, a little so bit. I said, it's fascinating. I said to Grant yesterday, I said, wait a minute. So he, t- he said he went fishing. <laughs> And then later I walked in. Now, Grant and I said, doesn't fish. He's right. not like I think that's important to the story. I didn't yeah. fish yet until until the day of the fishing trip. Yes. So I say I go. So you like what in a boat? And you're like yeah. Yeah. And you guys, I mean, the point was you you guys smoked weed. Yeah, we we smoked a, a bunch of weed, like you, a bunch man. of weed. So you said you were. I think the phrase you said to me was you were super stoned. Super stoned, and we were on a little sixteen foot. Fiberglass boat with a little electric engine, not uh-huh. not going anywhere fast. <laughs> right, but yeah, the type of conversation. This is literally. I was just rocking up and down, and I just was staring at the water. And then a bird, a duck, flew down, and Blades was like, "Hey, uh, look at that duck." I was like, "Look at that duck." And the, <laughs> the type of, that was stupid. the level of conversation we were having. But then. I was thinking another bird landed on the water, and this is the type of conversation we had. I go, when you're watching like an ocean show and you see seagulls, where do they live? And we talked about that for about 45 minutes. Oh, dear <laughs> God in heaven. And right. then, yeah, Hello, it was, bird. It was unbelievable. It was no, the wait, time of my get life. Get to the part where you thought you had a fish. Oh, yeah. So I was, I thought I had a fish. I, you know, I'm, I haven't fished in years, and I'm at the front of the boat. And I feel some some pull, and I'm like, oh, here's I'm pro angler. Here's my here's my time to shine. I put both my feet up on the end of the boat like it was a tuna, and I, just, I my my rod was bending, and I was like, we got something big here, and I'm yelling, and I'm just like, whatever, making a scene. Yeah, my uh my line got hooked onto the engine, and it just wrapped oh, no. up. I thought you were like pull up a boot. No, no, no. <laughs> No, and then uh, and then you instead, didn't get your, your line past the boat. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was oh, under yeah. the boat, hooked onto the yeah. propeller. I was just fighting it. <laughs> Supposed to throw it out. But like, it, this is a big one. It <laughs> felt good. I think I think I'm now going to be one of those fishermen guys. I think that's my move. Uh, I don't Next think that's time, how fishing works. You it gotta really? wear sunscreen. You came back I'm like sure. a lobster. Oh, yeah. dude. dude, that's so that's you're not so. Good. Oh my oh. gosh, look at that. Does that's, it hurt? I, yeah, it hurts so oh. bad. And then there's a sunburn from my uh, just above my knees down, but it was worth it. 
For, I mean, <laughs> what are you catching fish? I mean, as a master fisherman, I understand that sometimes you go out. And you don't. You, it's about oh the, 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 the a, trip. Should that be a fishing show, stoned and fishing? <laughs> I mean, it should like, be. Is it just two people in a boat and they just get stoned and they just talk? Talk you about never catch anything. Yeah, they, if they do, they do. It'd be funny at, if they do. At one point, he said something really heavy philosophically, and I just go, "What?" <laughs> I, I was like, I don't want to disagree with you, but I don't want to agree with you because I have no idea what you just said. That was that was the the high level intellectual did you, conversation. Did you happening. say you told them to take it down and yeah, I, was like, I was like, we gotta relax well, for a man. second <laughs> as I'm bobbing in the water. <laughs> so fun. Did you see that video that went viral yesterday with the woman that ate uh, banana bread that had an edible in it? No. no. Oh my god, hold on, I have it right here. So she it said, she didn't know it had an edible. She it said edible banana bread and she thought because she's like uh, gluten free that that's what it meant <laughs> and so she's like <laughs> so she starts panicking and, and I guess oh, no.